Today, friends, we are with the Tybok A1-800L laser cutter, and we're going to make a wicked cool tiny jet. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so this laser is 800 millimeters long, but we are going to stick to a small project today. We are going to cut with cardboard. Of course, once you get your cardboard placed, if you use a honeycomb bed like me, you can pin it down, and then we simply loosen this up put in the little block and once we got it where we want we can tighten it in double check to make sure it's not too snug I'm gonna loosen that up just a hair and that is just how I like it set up real quickly friends this is the setup notice X is short Y is long it's twisted the opposite way on the desktop but I am getting used to this I do also want to show you a setting I've changed if we go to edit device settings I have now shut off enable out of bounds warning because it didn't quite know where it was but I could tell that I had it in the right location. Of course if you missed all of those setup steps I will have the video where I set it up for the first time right up here. Of course friends we are going to cut the project called the tiny jet. I'm going to choose import and let's visit my 3D modeling folder and then I have it saved as tiny jet. I'm going to grab the SVG laser cut tiny jet 2. I have got a full video that shows you how to make and modify this creation in Tinkercad. I will make sure I add it in the cards as well. This cuts super fast because of this little indent. It is adjustable. We're going to be using cardboard. Let's go to cuts and layers. I have got my red cutting mode and I'm going to use a speed of 350. Because I really want to make sure it cuts out, I'm going to do three passes with 100% power. I've got my current position up in the top left-hand corner. Let's fire up the laser. Let it do its auto home. And I'm going to switch to the move command. I'm going to push it out to X where it's going to be on the cardboard. Push it down a little bit so it's past that little seam. And let's hit frame to see how it looks. That looks absolutely awesome. So let's grab some safety glasses and make something magical. So let's see what we made. That is buttery smooth. As you can see, we have got a tiny jet. The wing slides through, and then once you get it in, you can push it forward or backwards to find the optimum flight location. I hold it with a little piece of tape. Since the tail has exactly one spot, there's nothing wrong with gluing that one in. And then of course we use a rubber band launcher to launch it. We do add a little bit of clay to help it get the right flight characteristics. This right here is the tiny launcher. There is a video for this. I'll make sure there's a link to it up in the cards. Of course it's built out of cardboard. Two layers makes it a little bit sturdier. Friends, let's go and do a launch. All right, friends, so we are outside. There's our launcher. We've got that little hook that connects to the rubber band. Okay, friends, we are outside. 
simply connect it in the hook just like that grab the tail don't grab the horizontal stabilizer and give it a launch how cool is that all right so after test one of course you can back it up you can try it the same or make some adjustments so i'm going to slide this a little further back then i had it for the first test lock it back in place maybe adjust your front end weights just a little grab your trusty launcher get that rubber band locked in place and test it again how cool is that friends real quickly in closing absolutely loving the portable spider a1 800l laser it is so wild to be able to just pack that up take it wherever you need and be cutting cool stuff in minutes of course a quick reminder this is a tinkercad project of course i will put a link up in the card so you can make your own awesome tiny jet friends of course have a glorious day and keep tinkering friends as i wrap up i do want to remind you about my website hlmodtech.com of course i've got a page dedicated to tinkercad tons of amazing categories and below that you'll find the day one favorites the useful starters and of course the tinkercad essentials if you scroll below that you will find my course tinkercad in 20 days of course this video explains it all and if you look at the very bottom there is a coupon code 25 hl tinkercad it'll get you 25 percent off any course you choose to take you can use this link right here to visit now I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you look up at the top, you will also find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.